hi guys welcome back again to the channel today in this video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how to go about drafting a milkmaid booster now there are different types of booster i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i drafted the pattern that i used to make this cute red dress that i'm putting on right now so if you're interested in this keep on watching and let's get started build up until i can so guys i have my pattern paper here it's in a fold and i've already gone ahead to draw a straight line across the top of my paper here which is going to serve as a shoulder line so now from this shoulder line i'm going to take a measurement down to my bust point so shoulder to bust point for me i have 10 inches i'm going to mark it here still leaving the tape at the shoulder i'm going to come down to my under bust which is 13 inches and then i'll also mark my waist which is 16 inches and i'll go ahead and just draw straight lines across so i'll go ahead and label my lines this is the shoulder line this is the bust line this is the under bust and right here we have the waistline okay so now i'll start adding all the other body measurements so on this shoulder line from the center of my paper i'm going to come in by half of my shoulder measurement and half of my shoulder measurement is seven inches so i marked it here now still placing the tape from the center of the shoulder line i'm coming in by how wide i want my normal neckline to be so for this one i just came in by three inches which is the general neckline measurement and i'm coming down by three inches as well and i'll just go ahead and connect a round neckline here so guys once you're through with that the next thing you want to do is from this shoulder point here you're going to come down by one inch which is going to be for our shoulder slope so you are going to connect that one inch into the neckline just like i did here now for my armhole depth i have a particular formula that i use and it always works for me so what i do is i divide my bust measurement into six and whatever i get i'm going to add 1.5 to it so whenever i do that i have seven inches so from the shoulder slope that i had earlier i came down by that seven inches and as you can see i just drew a straight line across and i labeled it the chest line okay so now from this shoulder slope i'm just going to connect a straight line now to meet the chest line so guys once you're through with that you're going to place your tape on the shoulder slope here and measure down to the chest line so whatever you have there you're going to divide it into two equal halves and as you can see here i just divided that with my tape and made a point so from that point i came in by half of an inch okay now on the chest line i'm going to divide my bust measurement into four go ahead and do the same thing for your measurement and then we are going to connect these areas here we connected this point this point and this point so you can see where i'm connecting so we're connecting the top of the shoulder the middle of our armhole and then the points we have on the chest line together to give us our armhole curve so this is how it looks now guys from this center point again we're going to take measurements on this line so on the bust line we're going to divide your nipple to nipple measurement which is also the bust pan into two and mark it i marked it on the bust line under bust line and on the waistline so i'll just go ahead and connect all these points to give me a straight line because we're going to we're try, actually trying to get our dots so on the waistline i came out on both sides of the line by half of an inch if you are very busty you can go out by three quarter of an inch okay so as you can see i am using this half of an inch to now create my dart i'm connecting this point all the way to the bust line so this gives us our dart now on this under bust line here i'm going to go up by about one inch so pay attention to what i'm doing here i am going up by one inch and i'm just going to make a point here so from this one inch point i'm going to use my curve you can see how i'm curving it to just create like a nice curve to meet the under bust line to meet the dart here so now the next thing i'm going to do is the same measurement i had for my nipple to nipple measurement from the dart on the bust line i'm going to go towards the side with the same measurements for me it was three and a half inches so i made a point there now i'm using my curve to connect this point so from the under bust line you can see what i'm doing with my curve here I made sure it's stopping at the under bust so i'm making a curve down to meet the point i had and all the way through to the armhole can you see what i just did here so yeah that's basically it for that side of the cup now to get the top what i just want to do is you can actually do this with your free hand but i will use my curve so i'll be connecting from the armhole here so i'll connect from the armhole i'll connect a curve to meet the chest line on the middle part of the blouse can you see what i just did here so this area here is the cup basically 
I actually hope that you guys understand what I did here. So now that we are through with the cup, this is actually the cup. Now I want to add my body measurement. So my bust measurement divided by 4, I just marked it on the chest line. And now on the waistline, I marked my waist measurement divided by 4. But because we have that on the waist, I just measured out my dart and replaced it. It was 1 inch. So now I'll connect from the chest line and the waistline to give me my kind of like my body shape but right now we've not added any stitching allowance so what i went ahead to do was to add extra one and a half inch from the lines that i already had and go ahead and draw this line across so this is going to be the allowance for the side so i'll just go ahead and mark it out with my marker and also extend the armhole to meet the other part and then this end here and just go ahead and cut out this piece so guys when you're cutting out please make sure that you're looking at this video very properly to be sure of the areas i'm actually cutting out so guys before i go ahead and finish up the drafting of the front pattern i decided to use this front pattern like this to just draft out the back because i feel like it's way easier so guys first thing i did was to draw a straight line across this part of the paper here and i'm placing the side you notice that i'm not making it straight i'm making sure that it's straight at the end but not on the side the tip of the side is just touching on the straight line directly and i'm just going ahead to pin this down okay so go ahead and do the same thing this is a very easy way of drafting the back pattern if you've already drafted out the front so from the middle of the front pattern i'm coming in coming out actually by one and a half inch this is going to be for my zipper allowance at the back as you can see i'm just using my pencil to just draw out this line and i'll just also trace it out as well just very close to the front pattern so i know that this area is going to be for my zipper allowance and i also went ahead to trace out the side i'm using my pencil for now because this is not the major lines okay and i also traced out this tiny armhole that we have here so go ahead and do the same thing so once you're true tracing out this part you can actually remove the paper which is what i did here now use my marker and make this sideline more visible this armhole more visible as well and then from the armhole i can decide on what type of neckline i want now this part doesn't really matter it can be deeper it can be higher but i just decided to just draw a round neckline but it must be from the armhole just like i did here and i made the zipper allowance more visible so i'll just go ahead and write here allowance just so we do not make any mistake okay now on the front pattern i'm just going to go ahead and mark the places where i had my dart as well because i'll be replacing the darts on the back pattern for but for the back pattern the darts are going to go all the way to the top of my neckline can you see what i'm doing here so go ahead and do the same thing and basically this is all for the back pattern so it's actually very easy um drafting the back pattern using the front if we've already drafted it out so i'll just go ahead and cut this out so guys that's all for the back pattern we can take it away now and finish up um the cutting of the front so this is the cup area of the front i'm just going to go ahead and cut it out as you see me doing like this be very careful so you don't make any mistakes when you're cutting out any of this part actually so i'll go ahead and cut it out now this is what it looks like and i'll separate the middle here just like you see me doing like this go ahead and separate it so now this is what it's going to look like okay so now i am going to do a slash and spread method for my cup i would have loved to use this um first cup here labeled cup but i feel like this other one that is plain will be easier to work with since it doesn't have any lines already so for the slash and spread method i'm just going to be marking one one inch line so i am marking one one inch from the middle as you can see one one inch away from each other one one inch you can actually decide to do two three inches it depends on what you want actually so i used one one inch for this you can go ahead and use the same thing and i'm using it to just draw straight lines across so go ahead and draw the straight lines all the way across i went ahead to label one to seven and then cut out all my pieces on the lines that i had just like you see me doing like this so go ahead and do the same thing so guys we basically slash and spread this pattern as you see here but i need to place this on another piece of pattern paper so that we can have it as one instead of these seven pieces that i have here okay so how i'm going to be doing that is going to be shown shortly you guys are going to be seeing it and all of this area is going to be pleated into this cup area that we have here but first of all let's go ahead and 
place this on another piece of pattern paper so this is another piece of pattern paper that i have here so i'm just going to be arranging my pieces one after the other i actually hope that you guys can see this so i'm placing one right now i placed one the piece labeled one and the distance between one and two is going to be about one and a half inch that was what i decided to use it actually depends on what you want you can decide to use one inch you know that if you use one inch the um, cup is not going to be as full as it would be if you use one and a half inch and so on if you decide to use two inches it also depends on you and it depends on how busty you are but for me i am going to be using about one and a half inch so after cup one, um, piece one i gave a one and a half inch distance and placed piece two so after piece two I'm, I'm giving another gap of one and a half inch i went ahead to place um the third piece i'll go ahead and do the same thing for the fourth piece until i get to the seventh one let the thoughts build up until i can't hear that my mind fills up into a creature so guys now that i'm done arranging all the pieces i'm just going to trace it out around the papers just watch what i'm doing and do exactly the same thing it's actually very easy just trace around the paper just like you see me doing like this. this is actually best done with your free hand so just go ahead and do the same thing you see me doing like this so guys once you're done spreading out the pattern on another piece of pattern paper this is what it's going to look like so for the center i decided to just come down a little bit like you see me doing like this. this is totally optional you don't have to do it if you don't want to i decided to come down a little bit and just give it a kind of nice curve to just cut it into the middle because i felt like it was a little bit too high at this top here okay so this is basically all for the spreading of this pattern so when we place this and use it to cut out on the actual fabric now we cannot gather this piece this cup piece into the cup area of the front pattern here so this is basically all for the cutting of the front and the back pieces i went ahead to use my patterns to cut out on my actual fabric i went ahead to sew this really cute red dress that you see right here so in my next tutorial i'll be showing you guys how i went about the sewing so if that is something you're interested in hit on the subscribe button and i will see you guys in my next one bye